watching this video, you will learn how to design and prepare for production a full denture with teeth connected in one block. Three Shape Dental System enables you to design a full denture in multiple configurations. You can design both the upper and lower denture at the same time or work on a single denture only. While making the design, you can decide to connect all teeth in one block and later produce the denture by milling, printing, or a combination of both methods. The decision on how you'll manufacture should be taken while creating the order. If you decide on printing the order, you should follow this workflow. Mark the teeth and go to Anatomy to select Artificial Tooth, then its Material, Color, and Manufacturing Process. The one for printing, provided by 3Shape, is called Model Manufacturing. Then go to Bridge and select Connect to Bridge to connect the teeth. Now add gingiva and select material for printing and set the type of production to glued in teeth, arch. Then choose the correct manufacturing process for printing dentures, which is model manufacturing. To be able to print, you have to remember that the milling box is not ticked for that manufacturing process in control panel. If you're going to mill the restoration, the difference in the order form is reflected by different materials and different manufacturing processes for the teeth and the denture base. One of the milling strategies needs to be chosen. Also, milling must be ticked in the settings of the chosen manufacturing process in control panel. You can also combine printing and milling, choosing one type of production for teeth and another for the denture plate. Once the order is ready, you can proceed with scanning and designing. When the models have been scanned, go ahead with the designing steps. As a default, you will get to the model analysis step. However, if any adjustments of the scans are necessary, for instance, tooth removal, you can move back to the prepare step to use its toolkit. While in model analysis, at first you need to define the occlusal plane with the help of three control points. Keep in mind that placing the second point defines the direction of the front teeth. Now define the characteristic points for the jaw you are working with. Select tuberosity, next, the incisive papilla, the second tuberosity, and two canine points. And click Next. Select the Draw Outline button, and then use a pencil to draw the line of the denture. Moving on to the Surveying and Blocking Out step, the software will calculate the proposition for the insertion direction, showing also the undercuts on the model. If you are going to make a try-in denture, you might need to block any undercuts with the help of wax. You can skip this option if this is something that you don't need. Further on is the FD initial setup step. You can use any type of teeth from Smile Composer libraries. Just choose one and click Apply. Use all the available design tools to design the dental arch position. Then click Next to get to the base step, where you can change base thickness and create relief zones. If necessary, click Preview to see the base visualization. Click Next to get to the Anatomy Design step. In the Sculpt Anatomy sub-step, you have the Sculpt Toolkit. Use its tools to work on teeth anatomy. As well as the connectors, if necessary. You can change the shapes of teeth as you wish. You're not limited to the library shapes when you print or mill teeth. At that step, you can also use the virtual articulator to adjust the dynamic occlusion. You can do that when you work on a two dentures case as well. When the occlusion is ready, move on to the sculpt denture base step, where anatomy of the gingiva can be adjusted if necessary. In the coupling mechanism step, you can design the interface of the connection between denture base and teeth block. Use the default values or set your own depending on requirements. Adjust the connection depth, angle, insertion direction, tilt. As well as the rounding radius, and fillet radius. 
When finished with these settings, click Next to get to the pre-manufacturing settings, where you can adjust the settings for the denture base connection. Among these settings, you will find minimum thickness under the teeth and glue space, as well as other parameters of pockets related to milling, such as drill compensation and drill radius. When done, click Next to get to the Save step to save the design. When you close the case and generate the CAM output, you can explore the outcomes of the design in the previously defined way. Now you should know how to use the teeth in a block option in denture design. Thank you for watching.